St. Barton Armenian Apostolic Church has been the spiritual home for the East Bay Area Armenian American community since 1927. This church has been an integral part of, of my life and my family's life. I feel a blessed that we have a church like this, that I can come here, pray, feel at home, contribute. This is the church that we choose. We choose to worship them, you know. We could go any place, but this is where we want to be. This is our home. It's a lovely, lovely church community, and we hope it thrives and continues, and, and I think it will. I've been serving church for a long time, over 30 years, and I'm very proud of the church. It's my second house. To me, it's just kind of all right here. I kind of get choked up, so. Yeah, it's a big part of, uh, of our life. I go up and down the state, and I was very proud to say that I'm from the Oakland Church, Oakland Parish. Warm, friendly, loving people, and I'm very sincere about that. It was such a great pleasure to be a member of this community, of this, of this parish. We are together. We are like one team here, serving God. That's the most important thing in the Armenian Church and serving each other. We are trying to follow the steps of our Lord Jesus Christ, to be a good tenants of his kingdom. 2012 marked the 85th anniversary of the establishment of the parish. My father, as well as some others, were uh, founders of the initial uh, St. Vartan Parish in 1927. Those are not only numbers, but it's a history, a rich history of St. Vartan's parish, which was written by the faithful children of St. Vartan Church. The Armenian community of Oakland purchased this building on the corner of 23rd Avenue and East 17th Street for $5,000 during the Great Depression. It served as St. Varton's spiritual home all the way until 1957. When we would have banquets in the old church, uh, the banquet hall was like someone's kitchen now, or size of a bedroom, and we still were able to have our little banquets, and it might have cost a dollar or two dollars at that time. By the early 1950s, the community realized a larger sanctuary was necessary to meet the needs of a growing congregation. A plot of land at 650 Spruce Street was purchased in 1955. The existing house had to be torn down to make way for the new St. Varton Sanctuary. The church was consecrated on April 7, 1957. Three years later, the social hall and classroom structure was completed on May 13, 1960. Diana Tumajan has been living across the street from St. Varton since before the church was even built. With the church there and the property was there and I'm there, so I could see everything happening. It's just been great. The church has been my life, really. When the church went up and we had our own church it was really a, a feeling of pride and you know this is going to be our church. Father Hovel Ohanian is the parish priest of St. Varton. 
the young spiritual leader was ordained in 2007 by Archbishop Hovnon Derderian, primate of the Western Diocese. <laughs> Father Hovell has been serving the St. Varton faithful since 2009. The community has welcomed Father Hovell, his wife Yeritskin Anahit, and their two children, Vasken and Nare. Because people, there were welcoming, we could adopted very easily. He's just wonderful. I mean, we just love him, and he's just so warm. <laughs> he's my strength. Father Hovell is an angel, I think. <laughs> very easily we found ourselves here. Myself, my Yeretskin, Anahit, and my kids. Good evening and welcome to St. Barton's 60th Annual Bazaar and Food Festival. St. Varton is also the social and cultural center for its faithful. Since 1952, the church has opened its doors to the public with its annual bazaar and food festival. We look forward to it every year, the first weekend in October. It's a big deal for us. We started cooking in May, so we've been cooking a lot of months already for it to happen at the beginning of October. The community comes together every year as preparation for the bazaar starts months in advance, always spearheaded by the parish's Lady Society. Our Lady Society is the backbone of our church. Without ladies, I don't think that we would have any successful bazaar. 55 years ago, there was a group of ladies. In those days, the ladies didn't all work full time. And I remember all those fabulous cooks and women that, I mean, th and they had a great camaraderie between them. They loved being together. I don't know if they're aware of how much we do. Some people are. If they come and help and see what we do and what's going on, then they realize how much we do. The food here cooked by the women of the parish was delicious. So I told my husband that even though we were at the Diamond October Fest, that if we came here, we'd have a better dinner. The dedicated St. Varton Dance Ensemble rehearses weekly in preparation for their annual performance at the Bazaar. We're very delighted and thrilled to present the St. Varton Armenian Dance Group. In 2012 marked the 60th anniversary of this cherished St. Varton tradition. Every year is a big event. Uh, the camaraderie and the friendships that are built through all the preparation and the work, uh, uh, the cooking of the food and the planning for the event itself. It is our largest fundraiser of the year and provides a significant portion of our uh, income for the year and so that is very important. <laughs> St. Varton Armenian Church has had a rich history of dedicated and devoted clergy. Rev. 
Reverend Father Mesrop Serafian was their longest tenured parish priest. In 1985, Father Mesrop became St. Vartan's priest, a position he held for 25 years. He led the parish with selfless devotion, faithful commitment, and good-humored patience until his passing in 2009. Of course, I'm, uh, I'm uh, very, very pleased to be part of St. Vartan Church. I've been involved with the church since I was 13 years old, and that's, as you can see, many, many years ago. Uh, I grew up within the church and the community, and uh, I feel blessed to be pastor of the church at this time. St. Vartan Church is a good combination, a blend of the Armenian-born and the American-born, and uh, it is both traditional, and we're trying to make it traditional and relevant as a church community, as a uh, mission place for the uh, work of Jesus Christ in this world. And uh, to whatever extent we can succeed, it is by God's grace and God's blessing. And I'm very grateful for the opportunity to do this. And with the wonderful congregation that we have, uh, we are truly blessed. He grew up in the church mm -hmm. before I met him. Sure. And um, this church was his family and his relatives, his grandfather served on the altar, and um, all the family was involved. And so he's, it was just a very easy transition. People embraced him and he became their pastor. The current sanctuary on Spruce Street celebrated its 55th anniversary in 2012. This holy sanctuary has had the honor of hosting every Armenian Catholicos since Vaskin I. Fifteen years I'm doing the picnic chairman. The St. Bart's on picnic is a time when the faithful come together for a barbecue. Celebrating their friendships. Hi, George. <laughs> and welcoming newcomers. When you come to the Armenian church, you come to the Armenian picnic, whatever it is, you always feel like you're among your people. Let us celebrate this wonderful picnic with our Lord, with our Creator. We have new guests. And after one hour being in the parish hall around St. Vartan's parishioners, they say that we felt that we are at home. This is our home. So everyone is welcomed here at St. Vartan's. One of the most important ministries of the church is the choir. St. Vartan features one of the finest choirs in the Western Diocese. I am very proud of my choir. The hymns are the prayers. The hymns of our Padarak is the bridge between us and God. So our choir bridging us every Sunday with God. So they are bringing God's grace through their hymns to us. I sang in the choir for over 50 years. And uh, we have others that have sung in the choir that long. It's wonderful to have that second family besides my own family. I wish one day I can take my choir to all the churches throughout the Western Diocese each Sunday, uh, and I wanted them to know what does it mean to have a choir, a real choir, as we have here at St. Vartan. The choir sings the Gomidas Badarak, singing all of the hymns in four-part harmony. <laughs> choir director Beverly Nalbandian has been a member since 1962. He said, can you teach them the Gomidas? I said, yeah, sure, as long as there are people to learn. So I taught them. 
They learned, they worked hard at it because it's not easy to do. Here we are today singing it after 50 years. <laughs> My altar servers, my brothers in Christ, they are always there on the altar with me, praying and glorifying our Lord. St. Vartan Armenian Church Youth Organization is one of the longest running chapters of any parish in the Western Diocese. I want to thank you. Appreciate the love for your hard work, for your dedication. The ACYO's largest event is the Potagenton Ball, an annual tradition that started in 1994. Although the event is organized by the youth, it is something the whole community participates in. We're all really good friends. We stay together after ACYO is done. and hang out outside of the church as well. You know that there's always a group of people that are there for you if you need any help with anything really, so it's really nice to have that family. The parish's ACYO is also involved in the community. Every year, volunteers clean up around the Mount Davidson Cross in San Francisco in preparation for the annual Armenian Genocide Commemoration and Easter Sunrise Services. For the past six, seven years, we've, we've come and uh, actually helped clean up. We want to keep the pathway as clear and safe as possible. Other people in San Francisco visit this place and when they come here, they can learn a little bit about what this cross means to us. And when I come here, I just, I just feel very proud because being an Armenian is important to me. <laughs> the basketball team has a great history, over 50 years. The St. Vartan sports program was founded by Richard Demergen over 40 years ago. The athletic program has created lifetime friendships through sportsmanship and competition. Mike Beloyan has been coaching the basketball team for 35 years, Go leading successful teams of all ages. The St. Varton Cultural Committee produces interesting and entertaining cultural and educational events throughout the year in an effort to enrich the lives of our parish and Bay Area Armenian community. We'll have concerts, we'll have uh, films on specific issues, which strive to try and educate and to provide our community and the Bay Area Armenians with some historical information, as well as current issues that are happening today. The core foundation of the younger generation is the Sunday School program. The backbone and future of the church is its youth. It is a thriving and important entity. We have the Sunday School, a great group of kids who are learning God's Word here, the Armenian prayers, who are learning the Badarak, the Divine Liturgy, the hymns, the prayers. They are coming, participating. It is a place where children learn about the church traditions, the Divine Liturgy, and about the lives of the saints. Tulmes, 
St. Vartan is the spiritual home for so many Northern California Armenians. It's been a huge part of our lives because coming from the East Coast and then not having, you know, immediate family here, the parishioners here became part of my family. I'm from Istanbul and I came in 1962. And since then, St. Vartan become my home and congregation become my family. I grew up in New York, I went to school in the Midwest, and I've gone to Armenian churches um, throughout the, both dioceses, and I have to say St. Vartan is home to me and always been embracing, and I, I, I can compare that to a lot of different churches, so I'm really proud to be here. I always compare St. Vartan's congregation with the beautiful bouquet of flowers. Uh, which, uh, what makes that bouquet beautiful when it's combined with different kind of flowers? colorful. So we have Armenians from everywhere. It's like another family to me. I have so many friends here that uh, I know there are three generations of these friends and uh, I, I don't know, you have to be this age to say that. <laughs> the church is always evolving, striving to be a vibrant 21st century parish while staying true to its Armenian traditions and Orthodox roots. Thank you, St. Barton, for accepting me, for loving me, and for allowing me to serve God. Seth and I have uh, been here. I've been on parish council many times, parish council chairman. Uh, Seth has been Sunday school superintendent, taught Sunday school for many, many years. Our three daughters grew up here. It's just been so good to belong to this church and to remember that you're an Armenian. And, and many a time I'm standing here, I think of my parents, I think of my, our ancestors and how long this has been going on. And we're just a little drop in the water. It means everything. I mean, you know, I, I wouldn't be who I am today if it wasn't for growing up at this church. It's just really a part of our family. I really want to see the church flourish. And hopefully, we can get more people to feel like that. <laughs> որպես առաջնորդ հայս եկեղեցու նախուզում եմ շնորհակալություն հայտնեմ բոլորիդ որ այդքան միասնական եք եւ այդքան սիրում եք ծեր եկեղեցին ուզում եմ շնորհակալություն հայտնել աստծո որ ինձ առիթ ընձեռեց սուրբ վարթան եկեղեցու հոգեվոր հովի վտարնալու եւ տեսնելու ու ճանաչելու հավատավոր մարդկանց ովքեր իրենց ամբողջ կյանքը նվիրել են այս եկեղեցուն որպես աստուծո զավակներ ձեր բարի վաստակն եք բերում ձեր բարի ծառայությունն եք բերում մեր սուրբ եկեղեցուն մեր սուրբ վարթան եկեղեցուն եւ աստուծո օրտնությունն է որ այսօր 85 տարիներ հետո մենք դեր ունենք սուրբ վարթան եկեղեցին որովհետեւ ձեր սիրո արդյունքն է սա ձեր աշխատանքի արդյունքն է սա շարունակենք միասին շարունակենք ծառայել աստծո եւ աստված պիտի օրթնի մեզ եւ աստված պիտի օրթնի սուրբ վարթան եկեղեցու ապագան մեր սիրելի զավակներով մեր երիտասարդներով եւ այս եկեղեցու ապագան միշտ պիտի պայծառ ու լուսավոր լինի թող տիրոջ օրթնությունը հավիտյանս լինի մեզ բոլորիս հետ ամեն